Hey guys, Rich here at the Collector Car Gallery in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, today we're at the Fort Wayne Airport. Uh, this 1948 Chevy five-window pickup truck is on display here. Uh, this is also on our website at collectorcargallery.com. Uh, asking price $31.5. We're doing a little video real quick uh, for a potential online buyer. Um, just like all of our videos, we're going to cruise around the truck real quick and just look for imperfections and, uh, and anything like that. Um, we start right here at the driver's side front fender. Uh, chrome is in, I would say, very good condition. Um, if you look up real, real close, I'm about arm's reach away right now, maybe real close. There's a few little specks, blemishes, but otherwise it's in very good condition. Uh, headlight bezels, all the chrome is very nice. Uh, driver's side front fender, all steel, uh, looks great. Excuse some of the background noise here also, if you would. Uh, this is an active airport, so uh, the uh, grill looks very nice. All the chrome is in good condition. Uh, <coughs> in the engine compartment, a um, few upgrades. Aluminum radiator. Uh, it's got the um, uh, vintage air added to the car. You can see that down there. Vintage air conditioning. 12-volt uh, system the um, engine compartment is very tidy finished out very well also um, maybe could have plugged those probably plug those holes right there those are unnecessary now since we've got this new system uh, as you can see the frame is in very good condition also uh, looks very tidy down there you can tell this truck was taken completely apart for sure so it's in very good shape. As we look at the um, the hood, I don't see any blemishes anywhere on the hood. It seems to be in very good condition. Uh, paint is very nice on this vehicle. Maybe one or two little fisheye specks here. You can see, not to uh, nothing really get worked up about. So. <clears throat> Um, inside the, the um, wheel wells, you can see uh, we've got, oh, everything looks pretty solid. Frame looks nice. Vehicle has some, a little bit of undercoating in the inner fenders. Fit looks very good on the uh, forward door. All metal side steps. All the trim is in good shape. You can tell again, like I said, the car was taken apart to be to be done. All the um, uh, stainless polished trim looks very nice. Uh, rear edge of the door is in very good shape. Um, cab corners look good. I do have a couple little paint, one little paint bubble right here. Okay, it's about the size of your thumbnail. As you can see, though, it's quite discreet where it looks. Um, again, this is a very desirable design, this five window pickup. Uh, all five window, all, all pickup trucks in this era had a fawn color interior. And as you can see, all this weather strip looks very uh, supple and it's in good shape. Nothing really kind of boring, nothing really major down here. All looks very nice. Dash looks very good. Uh, bezels are in excellent condition. Um, steering wheel is not cracked anywhere, so it's either been restored um, or it's a reproduction. Factory mat looks great. Um, let's see if we can get any of this to come out. Yeah, okay, good. <clears throat> so we'll pull a little bit of this mat up so you guys can see the floor. And as you can see, um, pretty happy with the way that looks. Very, very nice. Uh, original styling seat. It's in very good condition. Uh, it is an adjustable seat. As you can see, this is a four speed on the floor. And, and again, uh, here's the, where the vintage air has been added also, and the controls for the vintage air as well. Headliner is in excellent condition.
Door shuts nicely. Looking at the rear of the vehicle. The rear fenders. Very good shape. I don't see any areas of that have been patched up or gobbled up, you know. All this looks very nice in here as well. Wood finished bed, uh, pine bed, urethane. Looks like it's in very good condition. Tailgate, very nice. You know, this is an area where, you know, a lot of people um, don't finish out a vehicle and it looks like it's in very good condition. <coughs> Full size spare. And as you can see, um, the underside is in pretty good condition. Again, this is a little bit older restoration. Um, some undercoating on the vehicle for sure. Um, looks like it's got new exhaust, but all looks very nice. Yeah, you can kind of see how everything was put together up in here. Looks pretty good, really. <clears throat> Passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, again, looking down here for any paint blemishes. I don't see anything like that. As we look up here in the frame, and the inner fenders, you can see it's all in very good condition, very solid. I'm looking for any paint blemishes right now that I might see. And, it, and you know, just like I pointed to on the other cab corner, and I, I don't see anything like that anywhere on the vehicle. Very, very tidy truck, very good condition. Uh, passenger seat, I mean, this seat looks like it's never been sat in, it's pretty nice battery box right down here and you know floors I mean it just doesn't get let's move this out of the way excuse me floors you know it just doesn't get much much better than this really um, this is all just uh, old dirt and crud and stuff but if you look there's no this is how this is how someone would want to see it with not without the, the felt liner in it because there would be a felt liner that could go underneath there, um, like a sound deadener. Um, but that was taken out so everybody could see what what's what in there. Door panels in great shape. All the armrests are in excellent condition. And again, really soft weather strip. You know, these areas where rust would like to hide, everything looks very nice. Pretty good shape. <laughs> Forward fit of the door looks good. Yeah, just a nice solid old truck, really. No blemishes that I can see anywhere on the exterior. So, really nice piece. Again, guys, we're here at our Fort Wayne International Airport. This vehicle is on display. Check it out at CollectorCarGallery.com. Uh, asking price $31.5. 1948 Chevy 5 window. Very desirable design. Uh, aluminum radiator, 4 speed, uh, 12 volt, and vintage air conditioning added. So if somebody wanted to drive one of these around, this is probably the one. So thanks a lot, guys.